this video has been a long time coming. Now, don't worry about me. Okay, I will make it through this month. This video is probably not really targeted at my subscribers or getting subscribers or anything like that. Um, this is a log. Uh, it's... What do we have it here? January 6th, 2024. Um, on disability in Ontario, I make $1,271. I pay $936 rent, which is moving up $20 next month. Um, I live in a two-bedroom apartment. I share it with a roommate. Uh, he's paying as much rent as he can without going totally broke himself. I can no longer afford to eat. Period. There's no money left at the end of the day for me to eat. Uh, I've spent the last 10 years making phone calls about how bad this ability is to my workers, the ministry, Doug Ford's office, and his predecessor. I have called Justin Trudeau. I have called hundreds of people in government. I've complained on their Facebook pages. I've sent them direct messages. Well, the day has finally come. I have scraps of food left. I'm not going to eat it. You know, I'll sustain myself off of what little bits I can find out and about. And uh, I guess I'll just conserve my little bits, but I'm not going to like sit down and eat meals anymore. It's uh, not cost effective. So to Doug Ford's office, fuck you. You failed me. You refused to help me. You refused to make phone calls. You refused to make the minister responsible for the disability program uh, responsible. And I'm going to start starving because of that. Uh, I will continue to make my phone calls today. Uh, I was even thinking about firing up the old webcam and uh, letting everybody hear how these things go. Now, I've been going hungry for the past three weeks, trying to eat one meal a day, trying to conserve, even had to get my sister to help out and buy me groceries, but even that didn't seem to help. It just seems to hurt other people. It seems to take away money from my sister, you know? I go to the food bank and I'm told I'm not wanted there because I'm on disability and people on disability shouldn't be using food banks apparently. And it's it's not the only problem with food banks. Uh, I've gone to a place called the Inner City Home, Inner, Home, Inner City Home I think. It's right over by our courthouse and uh, several times they have literally made me sick. Uh, the first time was apparently there was a hot dog supper thing at a uh like a lions club i can't remember what the place was called moose lodge and they took these cooked hot dogs and froze them again and when i got them they were wiggly and weird looking and i, I didn't think i was so hungry i ate them and it, it turns out they were uh cooked refrozen processed cooked refrozen processed meat which didn't turn out well. I guess they had missed uh, the cool down window and uh, froze these things a little late. And that's not the only time I've gotten pretty sick from the inner city home. It's run by a lot of older people and they have this uh, mentality like, Oh, I can clean out a yogurt cup and put mustard in it. Well, when I got down to the bottom of the moldy mustard because the yogurt cup wasn't cleaned properly... It didn't give me a good feeling. You know, so food banks are out. Can't trust them. 
and the one near my house really doesn't have quality they have quantity and the quantity they try to give out is like three days for a person like me you know so it's a band-aid and i'm sick and tired of band-aids um i don't know what i have to do to get the government's attention here in Canada or Ontario and get the Ontario Disability Support Program fixed. But if you can't find a one bedroom apartment for under a thousand dollars, we shouldn't be getting under a thousand dollars for rent. I shouldn't be taking like close to 90% of my budget and throwing it into rent. Uh, we don't get enough as it stands. We get what's called basic need. So they'll just give us a round number for basic need. There's no distinction on clothing. There's no distinction on food. There's no distinction on toiletries. There's none of those distinctions. And for me, growing up disabled and being in a group home, at least when I was a child, I was treated with some sort of respect. We had accounts. Each account was labeled. Uh, here's your entertainment budget. Here is what we think you should be spending on toiletries. Here's what we think you should be spending on clo clothes. Here's what we're giving the staff for food. I've seen all the numbers growing up. They didn't hide it from me. Uh, my workers were really nice. And they straight up told me about what was where. And, you know. On my 18th birthday, I figured out real quick. That you go from being important to very less important. You go from being a kid who they need to help to an adult who they can just tell to go f fuck yourself. Um, when I went to the CAS, when they were paying for me for a few years, and I had trouble with groceries because, you know, money didn't make it as far as it would, they'd bring me in the office... They write me up a voucher for a grocery store. You couldn't buy pop or anything that had tax, but you could get food. You could survive. They had a plan. Disability doesn't. Their plan has been to ignore us over and over and over and over and over. I'm talking thousands of phone calls. Hundreds of hours of my time. Just trying to get an answer. What, what am I supposed to use to eat? What am I supposed to use to buy clothes? When I have no money past two days after getting my check. I want internet. I want phone. I want a roof over my head. I want food. I can't afford it all. There's no cheaper apartments out there. There's no way to save money. Your carbon tax has crippled me. And I don't even own a car. I can't buy food anymore like I used to. I can't sustain. You've literally priced disability out of the market and people are out there borrowing money that they don't have from people that don't have them. equal. I don't feel equal. I don't feel like I'm human. I don't feel like I'm part of your race anymore. I feel like I'm trash. I'm ignored. Not wanted. Told to stop calling. Somebody who can't eat is told to stop calling his government. Someone who wakes up at six in the morning with hunger pains and goes, if I eat that toast now, well, I'm fucked when it comes nine o'clock in the morning. I'm at a loss what to do. 
it's not like a million people are going to see this phone call and then half of them are going to pick up the phone and call the government of Ontario and say, look, if you don't start helping people on disability, they've made sure of that. They made sure you had political alliances. They made sure you had, you know, so many reasons not to help. You work too much, you're too tired, you don't have enough money yourself, and it's all reasons just to separate us. And You know, me not being able to eat is one thing. I can handle that. But not being able to feed my cats is another story. So if anybody did make it this far in the video, which is crazy, um, you might not want to help me, but my cats are worth it. Hell, I might be worth it. I don't know. But the moral of the story and the reason for the video is the government has abandoned me. My disability worker, Craig, of the Ontario Disability Support Office, the only male who works there, has completely checked out on me. Uh, the workers are not there to help us. They don't do anything good for us. And they're a waste of taxpayer money. Uh, the system is inherently broken. Um, the workers, they don't care about us. Um, they care about their own job and making sure their own job isn't too complicated. And getting help for us is just too complicated. So I've made the phone calls. I've told my worker. I've reached out for help as much as I possibly can. I, I'm, I'm done reaching out for help. Where do I go? Does anyone have a clue what I should do? Because I'm at a loss. I can't grow anything to eat. It's the middle of the winter. You know, barely keeping my little garden alive. Uh, over the food banks, they're just rude, indecent, uh, offering high quantities of garbage food. Like, every time I go there, uh, I, I barely even get a loaf of bread. You know, and some cans of, uh, like, lentils. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know how to cook lentils. I've never used lentils in my life. And, you know, I think without the meat and all the other stuff to go with it, it's just really not going to do much. It's, it's not my cup of tea, you know. So a food bank where they force what they think you should be eating on you, instead of giving you stuff you can physically eat, just is not going to work. Physically not allowed to call the ODSP office anymore because they give me excuses and I tell them to go fuck themselves. Not supposed to call Doug Ford's office because he's a fat fucking asshole who doesn't really give a fuck about anyone. Disability minister is hiding behind her secretary. Not once has the minister reached out to me, even after countless hundreds of phone calls. Um, I've tried calling MPPs on a list and telling them how bad disability was years ago. Nothing ever happened. I'm at a real fucking loss what to do or how to get these people's attention. Hunger strike ain't going to work for me because I turn into a raving lunatic fucking asshole. Uh, I'm not a thief, so I'm not going to go steal from the grocery store like so many other people. And I don't want to fucking beg. So am I just supposed to sit here in solitude and wait for the day of my death for malnutrition? Am I supposed to just keep fucking clawing away, hoping one day things will get better? You know, do I need to headbutt my cell phone 
to the point I look like Mick Foley with missing teeth and blood coming down my head? I don't know. I don't think I could really do any of that stuff because, like, they'll put me into a mental institution. But then again, I'd get three meals a fucking day. That's life, isn't it? They'd be willing to feed you three meals in a mental institution, but once you're out of there, it's fuck you. We're willing to lock up criminals because they're dangerous, but then after a certain period of time, we're like, ah, it must be okay. What a half-assed fucking society we run. No wonder, like, one of my biggest dreams is to build a greenhouse half the size of my city. I live in a place called Sudbury, Ontario. Do the math on half the size. I'm not talking a greenhouse that's ever been approached to be built. I'm talking one where you could fit fucking Central Park in it. Why would I dream about making green? Because people are fucking starving. You know? I'm at my wits end with disability. I I really wish some days that there was some fucking multi-millionaire person watching this and be like, build your greenhouse. Because then at least I'd have something to do for the next 30 years. Besides sit here and bitch at all you because you ain't the ones that even ain't your fault. It's not like you're a politician watching this. It's not like you're the disability minister watching this, you know. If I had to equate my time on disability, all the phone calls, all the days not eating, every dollar I've had to borrow off family, if I've had to equate all of that into just a picture for you, and how it makes me feel, a bullet would come screaming through and just evaporate my head into a mist of blood and guts. That's what it feels like being on disability. It feels like every day being shot in the head. But not dying. So I guess it would be like, you know, some sort of fucked up situation where you feel like you're dying over and over and over again. And that's, that's kind of disability. That's kind of the depression cycle it, it gives you. Here's your check. It's never enough. It's not going to go far enough. There's not enough for rent. You're happy for a day or two because you fed yourself. And then you're right back to the depressive loop. So, I don't know what all the rest of you people on Ontario Disability Support Program are doing or how you're making it by or how you supplement your income or if you can work or whatever. The last job I had was 10 years ago. Night shift at the grocery store, stocking the shelves, and I couldn't even keep up then. I couldn't remember what was in what case or box, couldn't freaking keep the number code straight in my head. I was horrible at, like, laying the boxes out in the aisle, so somebody was doing it for me. And, uh, it just, it wasn't a good fit. And, uh, I'm not really a personable person to be working with. Uh, I hate to say it, but... I've got a fucking attitude problem. You know, I'm vehemently working on it. Uh, Being on YouTube like this has helped a lot. You know, I've worked through a little bit of my issues. But the main moral of the story is disability is a complete fucking failure of a program. The minister's office has been notified by me at least a hundred times. Same goes with Justin Trudeau, same goes with Doug Ford, same goes with my local office. And I am at a stall point. I have contacted my MP, my MPP. I don't remember which one I was supposed to contact.